Hey y'all, I'm on my way back to the chickens. It's time. It's still cool in the morning and I don't want to get out any more in the hot. I've already been working in the garden for a while and I need to take it easy because I've been sick. But I have four broody hens. Did I say I have four broody hens? Yeah, four broody hens. So let's go out and see the chickens. Let's go see the broody hens. Right through here, in the shade over there, probably can't see her, is a broody hen. That's Wednesday. Now, Black Copper Moran, and she's broody, sitting on some eggs. I'll come inside and let you see her in a minute. Come over here and see Wednesday. Here's Wednesday. Open up Wednesday. They get open up. <laughs> so there's Wednesday right in there. Say hello Wednesday. We say hello Wednesday. Hey pretty girl. Let me give them their food before I open them up. Otherwise, they will be in this. Get out there. That's good enough. They didn't eat all the food I left out for them yesterday, so I'm gonna put only one scoop out right now. The girls went out. The girls and boys went out. Come on, okay. Say, quit talking and let me out. Okay, here we go. Okay, Lance, okay. See an egg on the floor. Let's see the broodies over here. That chicken, oh, that chicken right there. That chicken right there, it's a broody. Isn't she pretty? Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. And in here we have two. We are co-parenting in this one. So we've got two broodies in this one and one broody in this one. So right here is Tina. That's Tina. And that's Cheryl. My first hens were named after singers. So this is Tina Turner and that's Cheryl Crow. So I only have three eggs today. With four broody hens, what do you expect? Their water is low. I need to give them some more water. This hose I've mentioned before runs from my house. I can turn it on at the side of my house. And I'll turn, turn that on a little bit and give them some more. So there's the hens and there's the, there's the, the roosters. Hens and roosters and broodies. So let me go back in the house. It's getting hot, y'all. Oh, in the shade. Now that's nice. It's been getting in the 90s. One thing nice to show. Right there's some elderberry. This area, this is the, the tree we saw earlier in the year the limb that's down, and all of this right here. I mentioned this is Aurelia, the devil's walking stick. That's why that's called devil, devil's walking stick. Isn't that something? So these are right now, oh, almost about four feet tall. And I need to come back out with my clippers and my loppers and cut these down. I don't want them to get any bigger than that. But this right here is beauty berry. So that's gonna stay here. Look at the thorns on that. Isn't that something? So that's got Aurelia, our devil's walking stick. Aurelia spinosa. Yeah, spinosa kind of makes sense, right? Spinosa. Very spiny. And that is why it's called devil's walking stick. Isn't that something? Look at that. Whew. Don't want to grab hold of that. Talking about chickens, 
here on my nasty, nasty front porch. This is Anna. That's my Russian Orloff. She gorgeous? Look at that. She's chicken is gorgeous. I have 14 chicks that have been let out of the coop. And right now I haven't scraped off the porch yet. And I mean that. I, I actually get a scraper and I scrape the poop off the porch. And I haven't done it yet, so that's what it looks like before I do it. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And I'm really looking forward to getting them out of the coop with the other ones. But right now, they're out of their brooder and they're just hanging around the front porch and pooping all over everything. They're my babies, at least some of them. The other ones are out and about right here around the front, right, right here in the flower bed, somewhere probably, around the front porch. Enjoying the cool, and before long, well, and they have been introduced to the big hens, the big chickens, because they come up here too. And right now, I just have a basket of feed for them. Their water is in that container right there. And here come the big guys. There's the big guys. See, the little ones get fed first before I go out and let out the big ones. But see, they're getting along just fine. You can see those two are thin. See the little one and the big one? Yep, there's Elvis. Picking out on the chicky food. So, more chickens. A big addition to the flock. And then I've got the four broodies. What am I going to do with all these chicks? Here's the little ones. And there's Reba. 